My name is Samuel Achikoyere. Today we'll be looking at uh, more about real estate. I, we did a presentation uh, two days ago about real estate. I can use real estate, use real estate as a backup to hundred million uh, dollar company as a strategy. And a couple of people sent a lot of email to my uh, email. I was asking, how is this possible? Can I use more calculation to explain it and all of that? So I try to do that today. And please don't hesitate to join my Telegram group uh, to be dropped in the link. Uh, Buy can drop that in the link. To be done in the link where you guys can click, uh, where we teach uh, startup essential every day. Try to get a lot of African, up to one million Africa to be to be the one million one million dollar to one billion American by doing the right thing. So give them information that will help them and try to take them through the startup essential. What you need to know from funding from product development, product growth, and all of that, networking and all of that, branding and all of that. We're going to take a go to. So today, let's go back to our topic today, using real estate as a startup. It's a very interesting thing. All of us as a startup, we are very aggressive. We trust what we do. We believe in the growth. We believe in everything that we But there's also 1% possibility of failure, OK? As much as I want to put my money in the, what I do, I still don't want to lose it. I don't want to lose any part of my money. So if it's still a, a startup in that light, it helps you to know that you are going to be handling people's money, you're going to handle your money, you're going to money that you have saved over time. You don't want to lose it in one second. Okay? So there's 1% possibility. And that is why if you go around and see a lot of top company uh, in the world, they always have real estate as backup. They always have real estate as backup. Is it the CEO as a real estate, say in a very, very big, very big island that worth billions of dollars? They are always a strategy for their business. There's nobody can mention that they will not have one big real estate as a backup. And I will explain this to you. This is a secret of a lot of billionaires that you see around the globe in, in, in US, even in Africa and all of that. There's always a real estate somewhere that they use as a backup. And I'm gonna take you through this. This is a key secret that I'm gonna take you through. But if you wanna know more, you need to join my Telegram group when I can tell you more about this. Oh, uh, let's go quicker. See, if for instance now, I'm a business owner, very strong business owner, believe in my dear, I wanna get results, and I have $10 million, okay? I have $10 million to invest in my business. Now I have done the products, I've done the book of uh, road market fit. I need to grow the business. Oh, I love the business, and I have my own hundred million naira that I want to invest in this in this company. Now I have a lot of options. I can decide to invest it through an asset, I can try to invest it through a cashback and can decide to invest it directly in the business. Let's say I so much believe in the business, I no risk, no pain, I'm so sure nothing can go wrong. No COVID can happen. No, <laughs> nothing can happen. I'm so sure about it. I put all the money in this in the, in the investment. Let's say 25 percent to 50 to even 100 percent. Okay, so it means that all the revenue will have to come back to me. So I make a lot of money. Is it not? Okay. Now, this option is that I'm going to use cash back, and if I if I lose all the money, I'm going to get something back. So let's start one by one so I can take, make it more clearer. So I want to use real estate as a backup investment. And I have 100 million Naira, OK? Now, I decide to invest this 100 million Naira into an asset. Now, a commercial asset that can generate high return, OK? Now, there's a trick about the real estate, the location is key, uh, where there's already enough traffic, uh, you are sure other people are doing and making making that same amount of money you are projected and all of that. In a very good location, good house, standing out, have all the necessary facility that can give you your expected return. Okay. Now, I I I, I buy this assets and I come back to my bank to refinance it for me. And my bank comes to me and say they can only finance this for eighty percent. That means the bank is going to give me eighty million dollars. Is it not? So I take the 80 million, but the bank said, no, I'm going to charge you 20% per annum on this. I said, okay, fine. I don't have to worry so much. After all, I'm going to make minimum um, 
return on investment or profit of 25 percent um, i can also make more depending on how the business goes okay so what happened this let's now look at the calculation here to see which one is the better alternative whether to put the money through an asset into your business or put it through a cash back or put it directly into the business so if we are looking at the revenue uh, revenue calculation the rental income let's assume that you have two uh flat or uh, that you bought each one is 50 million era to do your calculation very well at a minimum of 20 days per month you should be having 24 million era in revenue and your your expenses on that should be like six million so your income on that real estate investment should be like 18 million era in a year okay now let let me assume that i put that 80 million naira into a business that is giving me 25 percent every year okay averagely now i'm going to be making 20 million naira in a year okay let's now say the asset uh evaluation you know after one year the value of the asset goes up and uh, let's assume that in nigeria we, we can even sometimes this is going get more than 10 percent let's say averagely of 10 percent uh uh what's it called asset uh, revaluation that's the surplus it grows and maybe 10 percent that is like 10 million naira. so the total revenue you're going to make eventually if you look at all of this is going to be around 80 48 million naira. okay now don't forget the bank is giving me loan in tw at 20 uh at 25 percent so the money i'm going to be the interest i'm going to be paying to the bank on the money they are giving to me is what is 16 million so i have total profit of 37 37 million naira. that is what 32 32 million naira, sorry so i have total uh, profit of 32 million naira. that is from financing it through an asset is that an option that we can also explore i'm going to tell you the benefit and disadvantage when we get there Okay, so if I do a cash back, maybe I put the money into the deposit or treasury bill, I should get, I'm looking at the general market, maybe I get 7%, that's 7 million naira. And I, with, because it's treasury bill, because it's, uh, the bank can decide to give me 90% of that. So the bank is charging me a spread on it, maybe 14%. Okay, so what I'm paying the bank in a year is 12 million 600. Okay, now I invest the 90 million in my business, I get 25% yield. Okay. Uh, that's my profit, uh, uh, net profit. Now, the revenue calculation. The TV and fees deposit gives me seven. The business income gives me this. When you add, you get with 29. But don't forget, you are going to pay back 12, this 12 back to the bank. So you get 6% net, total net profit. Of holistic of your portfolio of uh, 16 million 900. Let's look at another scenario. Let's assume that I decide to invest all the all the money in my business without considering some kind of uh, investment option and all that. I put 100 million naira into my business, okay? And I get 25 million naira of profit, is it not? Then what is the revenue calculation in this regard? We have, we have business income of 25% and you have uh, the total profit that comes to you is now what? Is now 25%. Okay? So, if you look at the figure, we have the highest figure for this as 32%, while for cashback we have 16%. If you look at this, the asset back, which is the real estate, is times two of cashback. Okay, so you have the option to look at what's uh, what 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 which one pays you more. So we it's times two of actually using a cash back to manage your investment. Now, if you directly pay all the money into the bank or uh, into your business and everything goes well, you no know, worries, nothing goes wrong, all projection is working fine. You make a five billion naira cash, so you're fine, isn't it? 
Okay, let's quickly turn the table. Let's quickly turn the table. So let's, the first scenario that we assume that everything that we plan work very well, you know, that means the, that means the investment work very well and everything. So if everything works very well, then the first one we have as a two, the second one we have, so it means that the real estate investment give us a like two million naira as net profit. Why the cash bar give us 16 million as net profit? Why the one of putting the money in the give us 25 million naira as net profit? That's looking at the entire portfolio, okay? Well, let's now look back. Let's assume that there's COVID, okay? Let's assume there's COVID. Let's assume that uh, that part of the business that you're doing, that uh, maybe something just did not just work. Maybe government regulation, maybe anything can happen. Maybe things that you were not emphasizing, things that you were not looking at. Maybe something just go wrong, okay? And you, your business, you lose all the money that you invested in the business. Let's look at which one we really help to back you up. If I invest in the first one, we invested 80 million naira into the business. Okay, let's assume the 80 million naira invested in the business is lost. Let's assume that the business was able to pay the interest throughout uh, the tenor of the transaction, is able to pay the interest, but you have lost the 80 million naira that you are invested in the business. Okay, so the business revenue is lost. The rental income is 18 million. Now the debt. The business owner and the business we have is 80 million that they have to pay. Okay. Then the asset value have appreciated for 10%. So we have 110 million. Okay. Let's assume the rental income is 18 million. When you add it up to everything, give you the 188 million. Let's say you are paying by the principal, you have 48 million naira to pay back. Then if you multiply this, if you multiply this by four years, what it means technically is that you should be able to pay back the money in four years or five years. That's what it means technically. So assuming that you want to, even if the business go back, the whatever uh, alternative investment, which is the real estate you're doing, in five to six years or more, you should have paid back the loan. If you can have a better other discussion with the bank for restructuring this loan, at least you are at the point that you have something to discuss, okay? Because uh, you have something to discuss, you have something to negotiate. There's still some cash coming in, and there's still some investment. So the bank might not, or the investment or investor might not be that aggressive after you because there's still something that you can use to negotiate, okay? So we have 88 million uh, that you have that you can negotiate. So within within two to three years, the money you lost, you can get it back. If you look at this, it's a two million error. By the time you do it twice, you have gotten the money back. So, 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 so it's fine. So even if you if you lose the money in two years, money is back, or in three years you get more. So that is how to think. Now let's start look at the guy that did, did the cash back. He put ninety million error lost. Let's assume the ninety million error he put in the business. He lost the entire ninety million error. Why the business revenue uh, is lost? So the TVs, which is trying to be office deposit. Okay, gives you seven million naira, and ninety million naira debt is owing now. The, but the asset value has appreciated. Okay, uh, uh, maybe very little because we don't expect cash to appreciate because of a lot of inflation and all of that. So let's say, let's put it at the same uh, hundred million that he has on the bank. Now he has gotten seven million additional to it. So if we lose the money, he's able to make. Uh, 17 million naira uh, net profit eventually. We have done 19 million, so it means that you need more time to work harder to pay the money through the alternative investments. But this young man, if you lose the money, everything is lost. If you lose the money for whatever reason, if you lose the money, everything is lost, and that is why you see a lot of people will prefer to do a. B and C. Okay.
okay? They will prefer to do A, B, and C. And I will tell you why. If there are country where you need to build credit history, okay, to be able to have access to money, we call it credit history and credit score, okay? So because you have taken a loan, you cannot get credit uh, score by investing your money directly in your business, okay? You can only get credit history and credit score where you borrow money from people through an investment or through debt or through equity or whatever way. That's the way you can show and you're able to pay back. It, that's when you're, you have a good credit score and you have good rating. But if you have money, you, you, the fact that you have money does not give you good credit rating or credit history. So now, if you do this one, you have a good credit history, you have a good credit score, which is really massive, which is really massive. Then now, your risk is mitigated. Don't forget, this is a new business that you believe is going to work. Let's assume it goes wrong. You still have a backup to fall back to. Now, this also becomes a financial instrument in five to six years or four years, when you, depending on the your payment and all of that, and depending on how you are able to bring back the money into the business or into the investment or whatever, you might end up owning that asset and it becomes a financial instrument that can also be used to take more money in the future. Okay? Then growth of instrument. At at end of four years, you might have gotten this asset almost 5% or 50% or, or more of the value of original asset. And the way asset works sometimes is that the first year it might be slow, the second year it might just go up, third year it might just go up, and you know, the way asset, uh, asset market works is very funny. You might have 7% this year, but next year you have 20%, regardless of... So let's say cumulatively, after four, five years, the asset has grown 50%. Okay, so you have actually earned additional 50% for your increase in valuation of the asset. So these are the benefits you will get if you use the real estate. But if you decide to use it through cash back, what are the benefits? You, are, you have a credit score, fine. You manage the risk minimally, but there's still a lot of risk. Okay, now, uh, financial instrument, yes, you see how the asset can use it. But the money will depreciate. The money might, will not be the same value after four or five years. That is why it is better to put the money into things that can grow. The money will not be exactly the same value after four or five years to have lost the value to inflation and all of that. So, this is a, this is a disadvantage of this. This is a disadvantage of this. Okay? These are fine. These are fine. These are fine. But because it's a real estate, it's also have its own risk, but the risk is really, really minimal because it's an asset that you're buying and you have done insurance, you have done everything. The risk is really, really minimal because what is the worst that can happen? Maybe some accident or whatever, insurance will come in. But at the time that uh, maybe there's something that has happened uh, in a community, maybe something that's beyond our control, natural, you have to start. start so that's a long time, and don't forget, we have a lot of people that are going to face that same experience, okay? The other thing that might be a risk is the, the value of the asset coming down. Uh, we don't see that happening uh, often. I've not seen, in, in Africa, I've not seen that happening. Uh, so the, the risk is actually to lose this asset and lose your investment is actually uh, very, very slim. Then the, the only thing that maybe you are not making uh, expected return, depending on your management, okay? Uh, those are some risks that we are maybe, uh, you are not going to make expected return on the, the investment on the real estate that you are supposed to make. Those are possibly uh, possible risks. But the good thing is you always learn and adjust until you get to, on, on the right track, okay? So now, but this guy, all he get is he can have higher return. Higher return, especially when the business is investing the money to have high profit margin. Uh, maybe a business that, that has a lot of profit and all of that, that can cover every possible risk and all of that. Okay? But that will not happen uh, so often all the time like that. I tell you at an early stage, 
you might need to have some strategy to back up your investment. Then when business stabilize and have a lot of a lot of risk and all of that, a lot of growth that is not afraid of any further risk, then that is good. But all of this, if you look at it, the question I keep asking myself that why is it that uh, you, you see all, 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 all the great guys, they go to Ireland and buy a, a, a high capital investment. But most time, they will only stay in two flats and three flats or in two rooms. They don't use all the, they buy a very big building with a multiple apartment and they stay in one or two. Okay. And some of them use it for, uh, to give it out to make some money or people come there for tourism. So when they use when they buy the one in Virgin, uh, in in in, in uh, the rich side, so when it comes here as tourism, a lot of things they generate money through it, and the thing is also appreciated. It's always a way to plan your future. Don't always directly uh, say because I have money. Always look at what other better way can I use this money to gain the same result. That's that's the philosophy here. Don't always say because I have the money, it's my money, I can use it anyhow. Don't always look at it that way. Always look at it, what other smart way can I use this same money and as I eat, I still achieve the same thing and that is the best way to grow when you are when you are looking to become the new Max Gobert, you want to become the new Tesla, you have to think outside of us. Uh, it's not only in design that you can plan and plan your strategy. Finance is very amazing. It's like engineering. You can think like it anyhow you can take at the end just be be, be strategy and don't just take decision find other various options on how to to put money in your business in such a way that at no point you can find yourself losing a lot of money you always have to have a backup strategy because things can go wrong okay so for me if i'm going to take any of this investment i'll go with the real estate and that's why i say that real estate is a strategy for other million large company because some company that have a uh, tendency to grow at the first year maybe something went wrong and they don't have something to fall back on to the bounce back and eventually out of business but when you have a strategy to grow especially at your early stage you have something to drive you through until you are stabilized you have to drive you through until you are strong enough because they need business and it's a, probably a new terrain maybe a new technology a new concept Require a lot of changes, a lot of response. Maybe government regulation might change. Maybe things might happen. So, but after five years, after six years that you have stabilized, you might actually decide not to invest in any invest in any. You can go straight into your business and all of that. And uh, other perception about invest investor. When investor comes in, I know that you have put your asset on ground for 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 you to take a loan. So, say a perception of how much you believe in the business. Okay. So a perception of how much we need in the business. Uh, and I always tell people who are in pay employment to try to acquire an asset. Don't wait until you want to do a business. Start now. You can acquire a, a single room. Don't look at it how big it is. Always look for opportunity to acquire an asset. You can start by acquiring one single room. Uh, next time, you can acquire two rooms. You can sell it and buy two rooms. So there's a lot of things. Just start something. Don't just wait until you will need all this instrument because one day the instrument will come very handy okay i think let's go to telegram let's talk more about this if you have any questions drop it for me on telegram i'm going to reply you thank you guys see you some other time